Hello everybody, I am back and doing a discussion. Now, just to be fair, there is news about this that has already been leaked out all across the LEGO community, but I, as a Bionicle fan, think it's only fair if I discuss this now. Of course, there is much discussion already. Bionicle is returning. Now, it's 99% confirmed, it's not 100% confirmed. The reason why is because LEGO had never officially confirmed it, but there's very obvious clues that Bionicle is returning. Now, here's where this started out. It started out where somebody who wishes to remain anonymous to avoid getting in trouble with LEGO sent something to the Three Virtues, and the Three Virtues reviewed it. Now, the picture on your screen is what they sent to the Three Virtues, only it was very low resolution and it was originally in black and white, not color. And so, the Three Virtues said that it might, it might mean Bionicle is returning, because they have very good suspicion that it w would not be a hoax. So then eventually they get a high resolution picture of the same thing that is colored, and so they said it's pretty much confirmed that Bionicle is coming back. But those aren't the only hints. There's also a list of sets, which I would read later. And also, the other thing is, is that eventually, they, just recently, actually, just like yesterday or this morning, um, they typed in Bionicle in the LEGO website, they searched it, and it said, coming soon. They said something's coming soon. And to be fair, they also checked with some other discontinued LEGO themes, and that did not come up. It just said, like, no entry or whatever. It's, that only worked with Bionicle, but again, LEGO has not officially confirmed it, so it's still up for grab, but it's actually very, very, very likely that it is returning. I mean, we got an image already, we got a list of sets, and LEGO is hinting at it, even though they haven't officially confirmed it. Now, just to let you know, just in case if this is fake, which I highly, highly doubt it isn't, don't get mad at me. I'm not the one who posted this. Also, don't get mad at the Three Virtues, because they aren't the ones who originally made this up. It was some guy who wishes to remain anonymous that sent it to them. The reason why he wishes to remain anonymous is because LEGO has... There's something called the LEGO Intelligence Agency, or LIA, which is owned by LEGO. Basically, the LEGO's version of the CIA, where they try and take down leaks and stuff like that. And... The, the guy wanted to remain anonymous because of the fact that he didn't want to get in trouble with LEGO for leaking this. And so, that those are the people you want to blame. Don't get mad at me or the Three Virtues or anyone else who believes this or is leaking it around. It's the original leaker who the Three Virtues mentioned they got this from that is, in fact, the guy you want to be mad at. Alright? Anyway, yeah. Now, in other news, I just wanted to point out, it is up for debate whether it's going to be A, a continuation of the story where it left off, B, a reboot, which is an entirely different continuity, or C, a prequel to the original 2001 Mata part. So, it's up for debate, but most people believe it's a reboot, and here is why. Now, I'm going to go over why it could be either A, a reboot, or B, a discontinuation, uh, not a discontinuation, a continuation. Well, here's why it might be a reboot. Now, the first reason why is because, as I get into the list of sets later in this video, the sets are, they are re-releasing the Toamata slash Nuva. And as you can see on the um, box there, on in the picture, you can see there's obviously Tahu Nuva there. And if they were doing a continuation, they wouldn't be re-releasing the Mata. They would probably be releasing characters that or in the serials, such as Orgiara, Zarya, Kabrua, um, and all those characters. Because the serials that were left at Cliffhanger were Yesterday Quest and Powers That Be. Those serials those were left at a Cliffhanger after Greg had his first child. So they wouldn't be re releasing the mod, they would probably be re releasing those, they would probably be releasing new sets of, the, of characters. And and, he, and now moving on to the second reason why. Now, the second reason why is on the picture on your screen right now, you can see that there is, in fact, a mask there. It looks kind of like a zombie skull with an exposed brain or something. I don't know. Um, that could be a reboot of the Mask of Life. I mean, that, the Mask of Life was, in fact, the bionicle icon, if you will for pretty much 2007, maybe 2006, I don't know, 2007 all the way onward. So that could be a reboot of The Mask of Life. 
but I don't know. Anyway, those are two reasons why it could be a continue a, a reboot, not a continuation. But here's why it could be a continuation. Now, I did get this from a friend, so I'm giving what my friend, I forgot who his name was, but he gave me this idea. That if it was a continuation, they would probably, and they showed Tahu in it, they would probably show him wearing his golden armor. Because his golden armor made him more powerful than he was as a Nuva. And as you can see in the picture with Tahu there, he does have some golden armor on. So that is that does fit into the canon. So yeah, that's one reason why. Alright, and here's the second reason why. If it was a reboot, they would probably have Makuta Teradax as the main villain. But here's one of the set names, is Lord of the Skull Spiders. And he is shown there as one of the sets and in the background there. So... Nakuda Teradax is not the main villain, it's a guy named Lord of the Skull Spiders. So that could be why he is a continuation, because Nakuda Teradax is not here. Had it be a reboot, it, Nakuda Teradax would in fact be here, most likely. Because, I mean, it would be foolish for them not to do that if it was a reboot. Alright. Alright, anyway, those are two reasons for each. Um, I'll think of more if I think of later, but nonetheless... As you can see, there is Lego Bionicle in its original glory and everything. It looks like it's Spherus Magna or Barra Magna in the background. Now, anyway, here are the set names. Now, um, the set names you should be able to clearly see right here. And I just wanted to point out that um, these set names were originally in Russian, but they were translated into English. So some that's why some of the things you, you can kind of see are misspelled, like... For instance, 70784 Leva is supposed to be Lewa. The V is supposed to be a W. And 70788 Kopak is supposed to be Kopaka. Um, that's just a translation problem, I don't know. If we could get somebody who, who gets a hold of the original Russian written set names and speaks both Russian and English fluently upon their own free will without using a translator, if you can translate those and release them, that could be good. Because, I mean, I highly doubt that Kopak and Leva are supposed to be are, are new characters. Because if they because they are releasing the other four Mata, and they are clearly spelled there. Anyway, without further ado, let me get into all the set names. Um, we have 70778, Defender of Jungle. 70779, Defender of Stones. 70780, Defender of Water. 70781, Defender of Land. 70782, Defender of Ice. 70783, Defender of Fire. 70784, Liwa, Master of Jungle. Not Liva, Liwa. 70785, Pohatu, Master of Stones. 707. 86 Gali, Master of Water. 70787 Tahu, Master of Fire. 70788 Kopaka, not Kopak, Kopaka, Master of Ice. 70789 Onua, Master of Land. And 70790 Doors of the Skull Spiders. Now, as you can see, there are, let me just count, um, let's see, um, six, six, I I think there's 13 sets here. If, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me just make sure. Um, yeah, I think there is 13 sets here. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, there's. I think there's 13 sets here, and um, as opposed to Hero Factory releasing only like a few sets at a time. Um, and also, I'm starting to see other Lego themes do the same thing, too. But nonetheless, I do want to point out a few things about Hero Factory. Now, first off is the fact that the kind of pieces he said to use. Again, even if you get a hold of the original image that I used for this video and enlarge it to its full size, um, you, it's still kind of hard to make out what the sets actually look like. Though it does give you a good assumption, it's hard to make out what they actually look like and what kind of pieces they use. Of course, we can all safely assume that they use retools of the original 
Mata Kanohi, and you can kind of see what weapons they have, but nonetheless, it's still hard to make out the, what the sets actually look like. But everyone does seem to think that they are using Hero Factory style pieces, not the original Bionicle pieces, which I just want to point out that that, if everyone who, everyone, before this rumor even came out, long before this rumor came out, everyone, and I mean everyone, knew that if Bionicle were to come back, it would pretty much just use Hero Factory pieces. Not the original Bionicle pieces. Some people do say that they might phase out that. I mean, Hero Factory, the, the original first Hero Factory sets did use Bionicle style pieces rather than the ball joint Hero Factory build. But that's what people are saying. But again, it's hard to make out what pieces they actually use because of the image quality. But you can only assume things or assume what they actually do, but they might phase out that, either going back to the original pieces, which I don't know if they're going to do, or make an entirely new building system, you need two Bionicle. Um, and I do want to also point out that I am not one of those people who hate Hero Factory. Yes, I agree, Bionicle was, is, and always will be better, but, and, you know, I don't know if Hero Factory is being discontinued now, I mean, if they discontinue it now, this point in the story, it's basically going to leave it at a cliffhanger. Because, I mean, you already did that with the original Bionicle. Don't do it with Hero Factory 2, even though it's not as good. I mean, Hero Factory didn't have as good of a storyline as Bionicle, or Ninjago, or Chima. But nonetheless, that, nonetheless, you can't, you at least wrap it up on a good note, on a promising note, which is what they tried to do with Bionicle after 2010. And I gotta say is that it probably w I wouldn't be surprised if they discontinued Hero Factory because I mean Bionicle was very popular and it literally saved Lego when it was in its time of need from competition of other kinds of toys. But I mean Hero Factory people the, some people didn't really like it that much. It had mediocre sales. Storyline wasn't as good as Bionicle or wasn't that popular as other themes. It it wouldn't be. It, I don't really think it would be that. It wouldn't be um, that surprising if it was, if it was discontinued. I mean, I'm not saying it, Hero Factory is bad. Again, I'm not a person who hates Hero Factory, even though I do believe Bionicle is better. And I think everyone can agree. But nonetheless, it wouldn't be. But nonetheless, Hero Factory hasn't been doing as well as Bionicle did. It never. It was doing mediocre. It wasn't doing good. It was doing mediocre well. There are pe yeah, it's yeah. I, I'm guessing the Hero Factory probably would be discontinued, and if, and yes, they do use Hero Factory pieces on other sets, like on the Chima Ultra Build sets, and they're probably gonna use it on these Bionicle sets too. And I just I also want to point out that it's still unknown whether it's going to be whether it's going to be released in winter or summer of 2015. I mean, I'm guessing it would be released in the summer because I mean, had it be because, I mean, sets can't, are usually leaked. I see people leak the new sets. Um, leak good images, um, good quality images of the new sets. Usually six months before they're released. I, by the time we... By, by the time it's winter or Christmas time, we probably will get... Lego probably would have confirmed that Bionicle is coming back. And we probably would be at least getting some good quality images where we can actually tell what the sets look like. And again, don't take my word for it, I don't know what the sets actually look like because of the fact that the image wasn't good enough quality to tell fully. You can kind of assume it if you enlarge the image, find the original image and enlarge it, but nonetheless, it's still not that easy to tell without the image being better quality. Anyway, so that's Bionicle returning. I. I hope we're all excited. The hype train is going into overdrive, as TTV says. Um, and anyway, I'm signing off now. And and Unity, Duty, Destiny. Remember that. Remember it for all time. One other thing is that I. One thing I also believe is that if this is a reboot, if this is a reboot, we should probably call this generation Bionicle Generation 2 and the original Bionicle Generation 1, like Transformers. Some people, I've already spread the idea to some other fans, and some people like it, while some people don't. 
But nonetheless, that's at least what I think. Have your own opinion. Leave it in the comments. And Unity Duty Destiny. And remember Bionicles.